Do you hear it? That persistent voice inside your head. Reading these very words right now, does it resonate, sound intimately familiar? If you count yourself among the fortunate, that voice is your unwavering confidant, an ever-present companion. It's perpetually there, narrating the intricate tapestry of your life, offering commentary on the mundane, perhaps even gently chiding you about past missteps, or occasionally delivering that much-needed pep talk. But pause for a moment. What if I told you that for nearly half of you watching, this internal chatter, this ceaseless mental dialogue simply doesn't exist? For some, this isn't merely difficult to fathom. It's genuinely terrifying to consider. How do these silent minds truly function? And more critically, if you possess this endless internal noise, how do you even begin to cope with its relentless presence? Today, we're plunging headfirst into the utterly bizarre realm of inner monologues, or perhaps even more unsettling, their eerie absence. We're here to confront a burning question that will make you rethink your very consciousness. Are you genuinely as in control of your own thoughts as you profoundly believe? This mind-bending revelation began, as so many profound discoveries do, with me simply skimming an article, your typical early morning rabbit hole. I was reading a piece by Alex Salek on CBC News when, bam, it hit me. A casual mention from 22-year-old Olivia Rivera. She didn't possess an inner monologue. No constant internal voice narrating her thoughts. No guiding whispers for her actions. Not even a nagging scold for being late. And how did she uncover this astonishing truth? In the most profoundly human way imaginable, through a snippet of small talk at work, discussing a viral blog post. Can you even begin to comprehend that? Living your entire life, completely oblivious to the fact that most people carry a constant, running commentary in their heads? How utterly bizarre, right? But here's where it transcends being just Olivia's unique quirk. Turns out, this isn't an isolated phenomenon. Nearly 50% of you, fellow humans, navigate life without this incessant inner dialogue. You literally walk through a world where thoughts simply happen, where your mind operates like a vast, open canvas, not a pre-written script. So, for the talkers in our audience, those of you with that relentless mental companion, what exactly is this inner monologue? It's that constant, familiar voice in your head, your own private narrator, perpetually accompanying you. Imagine it as an audiobook constantly playing in the background of your mind. Sometimes it's incredibly helpful, offering clarity, but let's be honest, sometimes it's absolutely maddening. Picture hearing a voice, unmistakably, yours, instructing you on what to do, guiding your thoughts, and all too often, dredging up memories you'd much rather leave buried. You've seen this phenomenon vividly brought to life across pop culture. Think of films like What Women Want or TV shows like Lizzie McGuire, where characters literally have their internal dialogues externalized for all to see. Intriguingly, Olivia Rivera initially assumed this was merely a narrative device, a fictional tool. But as it turns out, it's profoundly rooted in real human experience. Many of you are indeed living like Mel Gibson in that movie, experiencing every thought with crystal clarity, a constant audible stream of consciousness. Now, for the rest of you, and this is where it gets truly mind-bending, According to Dr. Russell Hurlbert, a distinguished psychology professor at the University of Nevada, a staggering, only 30% to 50% of people actually possess this inner voice constantly chattering away. For over 40 years, Hurlbert has dedicated his groundbreaking research to deciphering the mysteries within those silent minds. His extensive work has categorized thinking into five primary types. Inner speech, the classic audible monologue we're discussing. Inner seeing, vivid visual imagery, pictures forming in the mind. Feelings, thoughts manifesting primarily as emotions. Unsymbolized thinking. Yes, genuinely thinking without any discernible form of words or images. Sensory awareness. A heightened focus on bodily sensations or external perceptions. Olivia Rivera, for example, doesn't hear herself in her head. Instead, she processes the world in bullet points, quick flashes of understanding, and vivid pictures. 
It's almost as if Olivia is processing the entire world in. Fast forward. While those of you with a constant inner monologue are stuck in a mental slow burn, imagine truly living like that, your thoughts simply manifesting without words, akin to a rapid-fire series of mental snapshots. Now, let's delve a little deeper and get a bit nerdy with the science. This entire phenomenon of internal dialogue is actually powered by a subtle mechanism called corollary discharge. This is a crucial brain signal that actively helps you differentiate between your internal experiences and external ones. It's why your voice might sound strangely unfamiliar on a recording. Your brain is simply accustomed to processing it differently when it originates inside your head. But here's the astonishing twist. Even if you don't possess a continuous internal monologue, this incredible signal is still fully operational. It's not the voice itself that's absent. It's the unique way your brain processes that voice or internal information. So, if that internal monologue isn't constantly running in the background, your brain instinctively discovers other sophisticated ways to process information. This could manifest as vividly seeing pictures, or even profoundly, feeling your thoughts, rather than audibly hearing them. Olivia Rivera's mind operates in this distinct manner, and remarkably, she is far from alone. Some of you out there are actively thinking in images, much like effortlessly flipping through a mental slideshow. While for others, the internal process may not even register in any recognizable form at all. Consider aphantasia, for instance, a fascinating condition where you are entirely unable to consciously picture things in your head absolutely no mental imagery whatsoever. So, if you can neither see your thoughts nor hear them, how on earth are you even processing the world around you? That, my friends, is the true, perplexing mystery. Are you, in essence, silently navigating life like some kind of highly attuned cognitive ninja, effortlessly performing actions without the constant guidance of an inner voice? Now, here's where this fascinating exploration truly deepens. Dr. Hurlburt's groundbreaking research revealed that individuals without an inner monologue often possess unique and distinct strengths. For instance, visual thinkers might exhibit heightened creativity and imagination, effortlessly conceptualizing things that simply don't exist in the tangible world. This profound insight shatters a common misconception, that a constant mental voice is somehow a prerequisite for brilliance. In fact, it isn't necessary for some of the most profoundly creative minds. However, the coin has another side. Not having that internal voice can mean you might grapple with filtering your thoughts before they escape your mouth. Olivia Rivera herself candidly admitted that she occasionally blurts things out without prior consideration, whatever spontaneously comes to mind. This leads us to a crucial, thought-provoking question. Does possessing a constant inner monologue genuinely make you more self-aware, or does it merely amplify your self-consciousness? But before those of you with a ceaseless inner monologue get too comfortable, let's confront the less discussed, darker aspect of that persistent internal voice. Hurlbert warns that it can tragically turn against you, transforming into your relentless inner critic. This nasty, insidious voice constantly replays every past failure, every regrettable misstep you've ever made. Now, imagine for a moment the profound liberation of being able to entirely block out those corrosive negative thoughts, just as Olivia Rivera can. She doesn't have to endure that inner critic incessantly replaying her mistakes. But for those of you inextricably trapped with that relentless voice, a chilling question emerges. Is it truly serving you, or is it merely relentlessly feeding your deepest insecurities? Now, let's venture even deeper into the perplexing nature of the mind. Dr. Hurlburt's extensive research reveals a startling truth. Most people genuinely don't fully understand their own thinking processes. You might confidently believe you possess a constant inner monologue, but do you truly? Perhaps that ceaseless chatter in your head actually comes and goes, and you simply haven't been paying enough attention to truly realize it. For decades, Hurlburt has literally been beeping people equipping them with devices that randomly go off throughout the day to catch them precisely in the act of thinking. And what has he unequivocally found? People are shockingly overconfident about their inner experience. The way you think you think might not, in fact, be how you think at all. Let that profound insight truly sink in. Olivia Rivera's extraordinary story compels us to confront this strange, 
silent divide that exists between humans. She herself had no idea she was different until a casual work conversation unexpectedly revealed it. This begs the unsettling question, how many of you are walking around completely oblivious to the intricate ways other people's minds actually work? Do you ever genuinely wonder if your partner, your closest friend, or even a family member hears that same intricate inner dialogue you do? Or are they, astonishingly, cruising through life in relative mental silence? Olivia and her partner had precisely that revelatory conversation. This is the kind of profound discovery that can fundamentally alter how you understand the people who are closest to you. Are you truly ready to ask that question? And what about the sheer fabric of daily life for those of you with an internal monologue? You are likely intimately aware of that constant, familiar back and forth as you navigate your day, that comforting mental chatter keeping you company. Rivera, on the other hand, simply knows she's late without that tiny internal voice screaming at her to stop sleeping in. For her, it's all instinctual. There's no internal pep talk or painful reminder of past failures. It's just pure action, no filter, no hesitation. So the ultimate question remains, is that existence truly liberating or is it perhaps chaotic? You decide, at the end of the day, Perhaps this entire fascination with the inner monologue is nothing more than a captivating red herring. Dr. Hurlbert himself candidly admits there's no clear inherent benefit to possessing an internal voice. You're not inherently smarter, nor are you necessarily more organized, simply because you constantly hear yourself inside your head. But conversely, if you don't have that internal chatter, does that somehow render you less reflective? Or are you, perhaps, just processing the complex tapestry of the world in an even more streamlined, efficient manner. Olivia Rivera's unique experience profoundly compels us to ask if we're inadvertently overcomplicating the very nature of the mind. Maybe, just maybe, it's not truly about what we think, but profoundly about how we live. So here we stand, inner monologues or their perplexing absence represent just one more intricate way humans manage to make life far more complicated than it truly needs to be. But let's pose the most crucial, authentic question. Are you absolutely sure you truly understand how your own mind operates? Think about it. No, really, pause and deeply consider it. Do you have that distinct voice in your head right now as you process these words? If so, what exactly is it articulating? And if you don't, how do you manage to comprehend and make profound sense of these very words? I implore you. Let me know in the comments below how your magnificent mind processes all of this. Perhaps, just perhaps, by sharing our unique internal worlds, we can begin to understand each other on a far deeper, more empathetic level. And with that intriguing thought, I'll leave you to wrestle with your own internal thoughts or their captivating absence. But whatever you do, do not let this vital conversation end here. Drop a comment, courageously share your unique experience, and let's collectively endeavor to unravel what's truly unfolding within those silent or ceaselessly chattering heads of yours. Until next time, thank you for tuning into this AI-driven deep dive into the mysteries of the mind. Keep questioning, keep commenting, and absolutely, don't forget to subscribe, because trust me, we've barely scratched the surface of the astonishing wonders that lie inside your head.